Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and one Republican presidential candidate has been rushed to the hospital just hours before the presidential debate, the first of the whole primary season on Fox News tonight. Let's get to the story, but before we do, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Tonight is primary debate night. Very big night for the Republican Party. We get to see the battle for who's going to come in second to former President Donald Trump. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. We get to see the battle for who's going to try and become the Republican nominee, blah, 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 blah. But we all know the man of the hour, the tower of power, too sweet to be sour. Former President Donald Trump is not going to be there. And the chances of catching him, well... They're like a snowball's chance in Hades, and the snowball's halfway melted. So, it, it stands to reason that nobody has a really great shot, and then being hospitalized on the day of the debate, that doesn't really help. North Dakota Republican Governor Doug Burgum, I don't know if you've heard of him, but you've heard of him now. He is a long-shot presidential candidate, but apparently he was playing basketball with his staffers and he got hurt and injured and rushed to the emergency room on the day of the debate, which is really bad luck. Or some people online have speculated that he got stage fright and he's making it up. I don't believe that. But I do believe that he doesn't really have much of a shot at this. And I do believe it's really bad luck to have this happen to you just hours before a debate where, you know, you're a low man on the totem pole. You're not going to get much to speak of anyway. Now there's doubt that he's even going to be at the debate, which could be really rough for him. So if he's, I mean, th this guy needs some attention. He ne desperately needs some attention. This isn't Ron DeSantis. It isn't even Larry Elder. This is a guy who needs the attention desperately. And for him to miss the debate because he got rushed to the hospital would be absolutely devastating for him and unfortunate. But it is what it is. You know, we're going to see tonight. If you guys watch, I don't know if you guys are going to watch. If you don't watch, I'll be watching though. So if you don't watch, I'll be watching. I will report to you anything cool that happens, anything amazing that happens, anything interesting that happens. If there's a fight or something like that, I want you to stick with us here at Explain America. Because if you don't want to sit through that boring debate and without Trump, come on, it's going to be boring, right? If you don't want to sit through that, if anything really good happens, I will have it for you here. I promise you. So I want to know what you think about this story and the debate in general. Please leave that in the comments. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.